Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the feather stitch washcloth. To start you will need about 75 yards of some cotton yarn, a five millimeter hook, a tapestry needle, and some scissors. And if you would like, you may also use a stitch marker. The first step is to make your slip knot with your yarn. And then you're going to chain 29. You have your chain. You are going to do a half double crochet in the first stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch and do a half double crochet in the following stitch. You're going to repeat that across the first row. So chain one, skip a stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch and repeat that to the end of the row. Your first row should look something like this here. Then you're going to go ahead and chain one and turn your work. You're going to put a half double crochet in the very last stitch on the end. You're not going to do a chain after this half double crochet. This is where you're going to start your feather stitches. So you're going to yarn over Insert your hook into the space made by that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over. You're going to insert your hook into this chain, skipped chain space down here on your foundation chain. Let's go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain space here. Hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and then pull through all the loops on your hook. You will do a chain stitch after your feather stitch. So I'm going to repeat that again. So yarn over, insert your hook into the space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, find that skipped chain space, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over, find the next chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. You should start to see it kind of draping down like this here for your stitches. Then you're going to add that chain to close off the stitch at the end. These spaces that are in between will be your spaces you'll use on your next row. So we're going to do another feather stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, find that skipped chain space, and insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, find the next space, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And you'll repeat that to the end of your row.
Once you're nearing the end of your row, go ahead and do your last feather stitch. And then you will end the row with a half double crochet in that final stitch here. So the end of your second row should look something like this here. For rows three and on, you're gonna go ahead and chain one, turn, half double crochet in the first stitch, and then you're going to do more feather stitches all the way across. So go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook into the space here, pull through, yarn over. You can see the space down here on the bottom. Go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over. You see the space in between your two feather stitches? That is where you're gonna insert your hook and finish off your feather stitch with the chain. Again, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, find that space, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Make sure you keep this one kind of loose. Yarn over, find that next space, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. And finish off with the chain. You're going to repeat that across, making sure you're using these spaces down here and these spaces up here. You're not going into any of the stitches until you reach the end of the row. You are going working into the spaces between stitches. Go ahead and repeat your feather stitch all the way till the end of the row. Again, just like the previous row, you will end this row with a half double crochet in that final stitch. You will repeat row three all the way up until the end of your hot pad or washcloth. Just keep going until it's reached your desired size. Once you have reached your desired length, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the border. So to start, you're gonna, you were continuing this row this way. You're gonna go ahead and do single, two single crochet here in the corner. And then you're gonna single crochet all across the side here. You're just gonna have to make up your own stitch, stitch places along the way. Go ahead and try and do an even number of single crochets all the way across this row. Thank you. 
Once you reach the corner here, you're gonna go ahead and do three single crochets in this corner. You can go ahead and crochet over this tail that you have from the start. And then you're gonna do one single crochet all the way across the bottom in each stitch until you reach the end. As you can see, I am crocheting over that tail from where we started. That'll just leave you one less end to sew in when you're finished. Once you reach this corner, go ahead and do three single crochet in the corner. And then continue up the other side with one single crochet in each. Once you get to this top corner, just go ahead and do two single crochet and then cut the yarn and you will weave in this end across this top. You can continue your border all the way around if you like, but you don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and weave in my end You want to make sure when you're weaving in your end that you go back and forth a few times in your stitches so that the end does not come out when washing your hot pad or your washcloth. Go ahead and trim off any excess. And there you have it. Your washcloth or hot pad is now finished. Thank you so much for up the other side with one single crochet. For more each. content, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button down below. Let me know in the comments what other tutorials you would like to see from me.